Welcome to School of Chemistry. My name is Ogo Abi Moses. Please, if it's your first time visiting this channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. Today, we'll be looking at the concept of isotopes. What are isotopes? But before we go into that, in our previous class, please, if you have not gone through, try to go through that course, Atomic Structure. We looked at the structure of the atom and we say the atom has three main subparticles, which are the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons. I say these particles are arranged in the atom, whereby the protons and the neutrons reside in the nucleus, while electrons revolve around in circular orbits. I also look at certain properties, uh, numbers, certain numbers on the atom. We say the mass number A is written here, while the atomic number Z is written on this side. I want say one further to say the mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Now, remember in the postulation of the structure of the atom, they say the atom consists of a dense nucleus with electron revolving around a circular orbit. And we're going to look at the nature of the masses of each of these subparticles. We say the proton has one unit, the electron, the mass of the electron is negligible, while the neutron has one unit. Meaning the mass of an atom will be determined by the mass of the proton and the neutron summed together. So this will form the atomic mass. Alright, so if you are giving an atom like helium, atomic number two, a mass number four, it means that the atomic number for helium is two and the mass number is four. Which information can we pick from here? It means that the number of protons in helium is equal to two. Remember, in a neutral atom, the number of protons is always equal to the number of electrons. That means the number of electrons in helium 2 is equal to 2. Now, the number of neutrons. Remember that the mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So, since we know the number of neutrons, and we have the, mass no uh, the number of protons, which is the atomic number, and we have the mass number, we can calculate the number of neutrons by subtracting the number of protons from what? The mass number that means neutrons number of neutrons will be equal to mass number minus protons this will be equal to what four minus two so the number of neutrons will be also equal to two that means in this atom, we have two protons, two electrons, and two neutrons. And so if you want to know the mass of this atom, it's going to be two plus two, the proton plus the neutron, which will be equal to, which will be equal to, to four. For example, in sodium, in uh, neon, okay, let's use sodium, since we have course sodium. Sodium is a, Sodium, 11, 23. This is what you have on the periodic table. Let's get the details. We're going to have number of protons will be equal to, the atomic number is 11, so that is the number of protons, 11. Number of electrons in a neutral atom always equals to number of protons. That will be equal to 11. Number of uh, number of what again? Neutrons will be equal to 23 minus 11, which will be equal to what? 13. Am I correct? 12. So that when you add 12 plus this, you get the mass number. Now, 
there are certain elements that exist with different, with little, little differences. For example, we have a situation whereby we have boron with atomic number five and uh, mass number 10. And we have another boron atom with atomic number of 11 and mass number of 11. Then when you go to the periodic table, boron is represented as boron 5 and 10.8. Let's first of all calculate the number of subparticles present here. The number of protons is equal to 5. Number of electrons is equal to 5. While the number of neutrons is equal to 5. Here, in uh, boron 11, number of protons is equal to 5. Number of electrons is equal to 5. While the number of neutrons is equal to 6. So basically, the atomic number is the same, is the mass number is different, the difference is due to the difference in the number of what? Neutrons. So for you to represent this element, are you going to take boron 10 or are you going to take boron 11? No, you don't do that. You take the weighted average. But first of all, the question is, why is this different in existence? So this concept whereby you see atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass number is what we refer to as what isotopy so isotopes isotopes are what atoms of same elements having the same atomic number but different mass number. So in a situation like this, how do you calculate the average? Uh, which number will you use among these to represent the mass of boron? All you need to do is, in such a case, you calculate the weighted average. You calculate the weighted average as the relative atomic mass of that number. But before that, let's look at examples of other isotopes. We have uh, carbon, carbon six, carbon six, no rather, we have carbon, we have carbon, carbon 12, atomic number six, and carbon 13, atomic number 6. Carbon 12 with atomic number 6, and carbon 13 with atomic number 6. Here, number of protons equals to 6, electron equals to 6, and neutron is equals to 6. But here, proton is equals to Six electron six neutron is equal to seven, and here in the periodic table, the relative atomic mass is represented as 12.01. We'll be looking at the relative atomic mass extensively in the next course. Now, we have 
Other isotopes like chlorine, chlorine, where you have chlorine, atomic number is 17, we have chlorine 35, and here we have uh, chlorine 35 and uh, chlorine 37. So in your periodic table, you see chlorine as 35.5 is the weighted average of these two, but we'll be looking at that extensively in the next class. So, now in this case, our number of proton, which is equal to atomic number, this number is going to be what? 17. In a neutral atom, number of electrons is equal to number of protons, so it's going to be 17. And here, the number of neutrons is going to be 35 minus 17, and it's 18. Why under chlorine 37, Proton is equal to 17, electron is equal to 17, and the number of neutrons, 37 minus uh, 17, which will be equal to what? 20. So you see that in isotope, basically is the, the difference in neutron that bring about their differences. They have the same atomic number, and therefore they must exhibit the same chemical properties. They may have different nuclear properties. So these are examples of isotopes. They are atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass numbers. Isotopes can be helpful, they might not be helpful. They can be stable, not all of them may be stable. But they have the same, they exhibit the same chemical properties. So you should know by the end of this class that what an isotope is. Examples of isotopes. And what is not an isotope? So, for instance, can you do this quickly for me? Giving x 15 and uh, 7 and t 16 and 8. These two elements. Are they isotopes or not? All right. They are not isotopes because they do not have the same atomic number. All right. X, 7, 15, and X, 16, 7. Are they isotopes or not? All right, yes, they are isotopes because they have the same atomic number, seven and seven. All right, thank you very much. See you in the next class. We'll be discussing the relative atomic mass.